I'm going to show you how to get to the third shrine in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So right now we're at the second shrine. If you need to know that, I'll have a link for that in the description of this video, hopefully. But uh, we just got went from the Uko Shrine to the Inisa Shrine. Now we need to go all the way over to here to the Gutenbach Shrine. This one has a lot of different things that you're going to need to do. So at this point, you just got Fuse and you have Ultra Hand. And those are your two abilities at this point. All right. So with that in mind, let's go down here. And then we're going to head over here to the right. You can obviously fight any enemies you want to fight. These guys fight each other. But I'm going to be skipping things. I'm, I'll, I'll point out whatever to you, but I'm not going to do it. So another fight over here. And to the left, there's some enemies guarding a chest that I've already grabbed. But you can do that if you want. All right. So now you're going to head through this cave over here. This is where you learn about these things, the uh, Bright Bloom Seeds. And there will be ores on the sides that I've broken already, and they're one time apparently, unless they can respawn way later in the game or something. And then you'll head over here to this corner. There'll be a frog boss in there, by the way. Mini, like, not really mini boss. It's hard to explain. You can kill him if you want. The chest on your left, I already grabbed it. I'm going to head over here. There's all these constructs around this pond. Now, what we're going to do here is... Wow, there's actually still a bat chasing me. Okay, hold on. Put back on um, Soldier's Broadsword. All right. So, what you can do here is grab a log, rotate it. If you don't know how to rotate, press A, hold R, press right on the D-pad or left or up or down. And then let go of R, press A to attach. And then grab another one. And then do that. And then grab this. Rotate it so it looks like this. And attach it to the back. And then from there, grab this and put it in here where the current won't make it fly away. Uh, you can kind of just barely have it in the water because that fan will take you where you want to go. And then we're ready to go, but I was very curious about something. I'm very, very curious about something stupid while we're at it. So, there's a current, so I need to rotate this. I'm going to just not attach it. I'm just dropping it. All right, so now what you need to do is take a light weapon. Do not take something that blows wood up like a heavy weapon. Instead, just take, like, a broadsword or some, something and attack that. And then, I don't know. Did it attach that to it? Because I told it not to attach that to it. I think it's stuck. I wanted to see if I could... Oh, we have made a situation... Don't do what I did. Okay, I just attached it. I don't think I can I can get it away now. I kind of Oh, there we go. There we go. I wanted to see if I could steer myself with it. It looks like I kind of could, but it's a little late now. So we're going to hit this thing again, but this is how you control this. I'm going to use this and see if I can um if I can uh push away from us and see if that pushes the bow. I don't think it does. I'm going to take it. This is not what you have to do. You can just cross, but I was just playing with some things. All right, so we've bounced far enough away from that. Let's go ahead and hit this. Oh, what? So we need a basic weapon, not a heavy weapon. Sword. See what I mean? That's why we don't want to do that. So, yeah. Now, this thing is unbalanced as hell, and we're going to rotate in a circle. <laughs> and I can't control it like this. Well, luckily, I brought it with me because now we can just fix the boat, maybe. Actually, we're going to want to spin in a circle now. So this whole thing could be a disaster. You just want to line up straight and just go. You don't want to play around with it like I did. All right, so I'm going to spin this in a circle. And then I'm going to hit that. I've really got to see if I have a weaker weapon. I don't have a weaker weapon. This is literally, If I just mess this up, I mess this up. All right, so now we're going to grab this, and we're going to put it on, like, here. And then we're going to grab our engine shake it off and then reattach it right there and then we're going to go up here and hope we can hit it without hitting anything else alright that will get us across now obviously I made that way more complicated than it needed to be I was going to show you can steer it by taking a log but it just turned this into like a two minute ordeal well hopefully now you have a better idea of the mechanics at least of that so you learn how to cook here if you talk to that person over there. 
And then you're going to head over this way. Then we're going to go up here. There's a little thing down there. You can blow that up and find a Korok down there with a seed. All right, we're going to head up this way. And then up here to the left is the entrance to a mine. And this is where you can, for funsies, you can put one of those fans on a cart and f figure out how to use it here. But there's no point in doing that because it's slower than just walking. And um, this track just ends anyway. So this will be the first area that we actually have to use our bright bloom seeds. And by have to, I mean you still don't have to. It's like you don't have to use flash in the old Pokemon games, but you can. All right, so then we got this roadblock. Just climb over it any which way. And this person tells you that you should use the bright bloom seeds. Then we're going to go over here. And this will be dark for you. Apparently, it saves these bright bloom seeds literally forever. Because I was here a while back. And they're still here. So you just, Whenever you need one, though, you just um, press up on the D-pad. And then find a bright bloom seed. And then press X to drop. That was Y. That was not X. Well, I just sorted or something. Okay. Uh, press X to drop it. And then swing at it with a weapon. And that's how you make them appear. So if you need to get you know through the dark, that's how you do that. Then over here is a bunch of Zoanite. I've already mined it all, but you can mine it all. Take it to that guy in order to buy these things. Which, these things right here on the right are worth buying. These, later on, they um, are good. I don't have enough to buy a ton of those. I'm not going to deal with it. Then you'll go over here. This person will tell you about the stuff. You have to talk to them and they'll give you these three items that are up there. And then once you have those, those are encapsulated fans. You can go over here and take a mine cart and you can put it right here. And then you can, um, you can go to your inventory. I don't think you can do. Oh yeah, it's in here. You can go in here and there'll be these things. There'll be the fan and you're going to, uh, drop it. And that will take it uh, out of the thing. And now it's permanently out. You can't put it back in your inventory ever again. Go here, attach it like that. And then climb into the cart. And then swing on that. So this will give you a beautiful view of the Sky Island. And it'll take us up to where we need to go. Make sure your charge is at max before you go. Or it'll just go all the way back down. The um, Zonai energy, which you'll have been given somewhere through all this. Actually, at the very start of this, they give you a little thing so you can use this. All right, so then go ahead and hit this so it saves your energy. Now, over here is a, a device dispenser. If you want to use it, what you got to do is open up your inventory and then go to... Uh, I'm trying to remember where this item was. Uh, I think it was under materials somewhere. Oh, yeah, the... Um, God, I reorganized it. Now it's all in different places. Zone I charges. You press A on it, click hold, and put as many as you want. I'll just take two, for example. Go up here and press A to put them in. And then it'll give you these things. And there's a chance for different ones. I got a portable pot, flame emitters. You don't need to do it, but if you want to do it, you can. So now we're going to go over here. There's a, there's a boss over here that I've already killed, but apparently he respawns. A Flux Construct 1. Uh, you can get to him by grabbing that thing over there and moving it between the two places and jumping across. But if you need help with that guy or that boss in particular... Just check the description of this video. I have a link for that. All right, so now we're going to head over this way. So now we're right here, and we're heading over to the east. And we're going to head over to this cave. Now, at this point, you won't have the clothes that I have, so you'll have to grab things like these over here. There's spicy peppers over here, for example. And you're going to need these, specifically the spicy peppers, uh, in order to do the next area. So now what I recommend here, especially if you like exploring, is you go over here to this pot, and you open up your inventory, and you grab the spicy peppers... Hold two of them, and then hold two of some other food, like the Sky Shrooms, and then th cook them. And if you throw in a lot like that, it'll make a, a food that has a buff that lasts a lot longer. That will give six minutes of cold resistance. Now, I would recommend make, playing with different combos of spicy peppers. Uh, I'm going to try just throwing in one. I was actually curious if I was just throw in one. But I would play with different combos of spicy peppers and try to get at least, like, five or six dishes. So that way, no matter how long you take... Not a big deal, but you also you can just you can just take just the solo spicy pepper and it'll give you two minutes thirty seconds. So you can just throw in one at a time and just make like ten. 
Um, it's just that it's annoying to sit there and just do one after another after another, but at least make like five or ten. I'm gonna grab these. Okay, and then you're gonna head through here. Side path to the right, that'll take you back around into an area of the frog, with bubble, or whatever they're called. And a bunch of ores. So we're gonna go up here, or a bunch of bright bloom seeds. And now we're in this cold area. So now for you, what you'll have to do is open up your inventory, plus go over here and find the ones that give cold resistance, and eat one of the ones that gives cold resistance. Now, I, once you get better clothes, you won't have to do this, but you won't have them at this point in the game. So now we're gonna... I did not realize if I touched my freeze. Okay, well that was... I was just gonna ignore him, but did not realize I couldn't touch him. Alright, so now you're gonna head over here. Now up here, there's... You can jump off to the left and land in water, and you don't want to do that. Because uh, then you'll have to... I think you might... I don't know. You might have to go all the way around and come back up the way we just did. I'm not even sure. That would suck if that is the case, though. Because you don't fast travel at this point in the game. All right. So now you're going to go over here. You can, I mean, obviously, you can fight that guy. And there's a chest there or something. Whatever. Can you imagine if I just killed all those? That'd be so many materials. All right. Then over here, you learn about bomb flowers. So you're going to pick up these. And then there's these enemies up here. I don't know if they respawn. I assume they do, which is going to be good. So I can show you how to kill them. If you want to kill him. I'm only going to kill one just to show you. Yeah, there's these guys. So what you do is you pull out your bow and walk up to him. And he'll stick his thing out. And then you shoot it. And then you can beat him up. And I'm not actually going to kill him. But you do that in order to kill him. Uh, and then if, when he goes back in, you just pull out your bow and wait. And then you just keep doing that. But now we're going to climb up and around here. Get up to here. Uh, over there is another one of those guys and some random items to find. I'm actually going to grab this shield. I have another shield. Now I head out here. Now you might need to open up your inventory and eat another one of those foods by now, depending on how long you took. And now we're going to go over here. And you're going to go up this hill. Now you're going to need a stone axe or something to cut down trees, I think, for this one. Because I don't think we can just climb this. So when you go to climb this, it'll jump once and then you'll slide down. So what you're going to have to do um, is you're going to have to... Uh, well, not yet. Okay, hold on. We're going to grab our stone axe if you still have it. Really hope you do. If not, you can find another log over there. And I think there might be a third log around the corner over there. Maybe. You need three logs, ideally. You might be able to find a way to do it, too. I just... I didn't find a way to do it with two, but I didn't try very hard to find it with two. I just went ahead and got three. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to alter handle one of these. Hold R, left on the D-pad or right. Get it lined up. You're going to make a joint like this. And then you're going to alter hand the other one. Hold R and then rotate it around until you get pointing straight up. And then attach it like that. And I did a very sloppy job, so it's horribly off balance, but it's fine. And then you can wedge it in right here. And then you can... Hopefully it's tall enough. With that, that angle might not be tall enough now. I'm gonna go up it like this. Get on... Okay, that's awkward. I might have trapped myself. No, I didn't. Okay, hold on. Let me readjust this. This thing is... This is not how I want this to go. Alright, let's bring it down. And then drop it right there and see how it does. That's a little... No, it's, it's, this thing is... It's a disaster, but let's see if we can still do it. Let's just climb up slowly. So climb up to the top. And then we're going to run and jump and then try to climb up like that. If you get to the snow, it'll let you just climb. So that's the way to get up that, something like that. And then you're going to head over here. And this is the third shrine, the Gutenbach shrine. I don't know if it's how it's said. It sounds German because that makes me of Guten, but it's actually Guten, Gutenbach. You're going to act with that, and you'll head and try, and you'll go on with your day, and yeah, there you go, guys. So if you need a help on how to get to the third shrine on the Great Sky Island, that is how you get to the Gutenbach Shrine. Hopefully it helps you out. Now you know how to get the third shrine in Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom.